Good morning, everyone. How are you? This is Rabbi Bregman. I had to stop what I'm doing this Monday morning and make this video because there's something really bothering me. If you are online and you see the comments that are taking place with the posts about the hurricanes and Irma and Harvey and today is 9-11, there's a lot of stuff that people are saying out there in the name of religion, whether in Judaism or other faiths, uh, in the name of religion, in the name of God, trying to explain the real reason these things have been happening. And I just want to share with you a perspective on it. This is the perspective of the Torah and the classic perspective of Judaism. And that is, when things go on in the world, does it have meaning? Yes. But you don't have the right to come and say with definitive explanations why God is doing A, B, or C. Are you a prophet? Did God tell you? I don't think so. So therefore, from the perspective of Judaism, certainly, it's not uh, intellectually honest to run around and claim you know why this hurricane happened and that one happened and why there's natural disasters and why 9-11 happened and why it's all tied together. You don't know. Did God tell you? Did you get a text message from heaven? Okay, look, so I would share with you the Jewish idea is that yes, everything has a reason. God runs the world and certainly you're supposed to study these events and try to glean ways you can improve uh, ways that, whether personally, in your family, in your community, become more in conformance with the will of your Creator. That's a Jewish point of view, but it's not fair and it's not religiously honest to walk around claiming the hurricane, this hurricane happened because of Trump or because these are states that voted for Trump or this is because God is angry with the people or it just, I could just keep going. It's just not right and it's not fair. Let me share with you a Torah source because in our heritage, we actually are source driven. We don't just make things up and say, oh, this is because, okay? So let's look at a source. The Talmud says in Tractate Megillah on page 15b, it tells a story of Queen Esther. You know that Queen Esther from the Purim story? So Queen Esther, there's a key part in the book of Esther. When Esther has a tough decision to make, she's thinking of going to the king, Ahasuerosh, and revealing to him that she's Jewish, but she wasn't invited. And the rule was that if you would go to the king and he didn't call for you, if he wasn't happy to see you, you'd be put to death. But she decides to go do it because she wants to avert the horrible decree of death that Ahasuerosh and Haman had put on the Jewish people, her people. So the Talmud relates that when Queen Esther goes in to the king and the palace, when she comes in, the Shechina, which means God's divine presence. She was a really high, lofty, spiritual woman, and she could feel like God's presence with her uh, in general, daily life. The Shechina, she could feel God's presence leave her when she entered the palace. So the Talmud says she did what she was supposed to do. She introspected. She's like, oh, why did this happen? What did I do wrong? Is God upset with me? And the Talmud says she thinks, oh, I know what happened. I called the king, Ahasuerosh, a dog. I called him a dog because I was uh, upset. And the truth is, from the Torah perspective, there's a certain modicum of respect that needs to be accorded uh, to the heads of state and leaders. Maybe that's what I did wrong, and that's why God took away the Shechina, God's presence from me, and that's why I felt a change when I entered the palace, okay? So pause the Talmud. The Talmud goes, that's a story. The Talmud goes on to say that Queen Esther introspected, she looked for a reason, and the reason she found for herself was... It was incorrect. That was not the real reason that God took the divine presence away from her at that moment. The real reason was she had entered Ahasuerosh's palace, and that is a place of idolatry. And God's divine presence is not going to coexist in a place of idolatry. She walked into a place of idolatry. God said, I am out of here. I am not going in past that place, mezuzah or otherwise. I'm not going in. So we see from here, from the Torah and the Talmud, that a person's point of view from the Jewish perspective is things go wrong, things you're supposed to ask and introspect and figure out why is this happening to me, why to my community, because it does have meaning. But even if you guess the wrong one, because we're not sitting here as mind readers of God on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and social media and everywhere else, even if you guess the wrong reason, as long as you look to yourself and improve, you're actually using the adversity 
for something proper. So I would respectfully say, uh, certainly from the Jewish perspective, and I would like to encourage you to share this video if you can with other people of even maybe different faith traditions and remind them that yes, this is a great time to introspect and look inside Harvey and Irma. Yeah, these were major natural disasters. Why did they happen? I don't know. <laughs> it's, but to say with definitiveness, it's because of this president or that, or God is angry, or it has to do because these states are materialistic, or it has to do with the fact that there, there's men dressing up as women and women dressing up as men. Read the comments, people say, with such definitive certitude, realize there are people whose lives have been forever turned upside down and will never be the same again. And people who've lost their lives, and for, and for you to come and say that, it's painful, and I could tell you this as one rabbi's opinion, but who's basing it on something that's, that's real, not just what I think. It's not intellectually honest either. Anyway, I hope this video helped. May God protect and have mercy and, 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 and pity. And, and we should all have mercy and pity on everybody who's suffered through these natural disasters and do all we can to help them and look at these things that have taken place. Yes, they're near the Jewish high holidays and otherwise and grow and improve from them. But maybe, and I mean more than maybe, let's keep our opinions to ourselves if we think we know exactly why this happened. It's not right. It's not right, my friends. Anyway, wish everybody a beautiful week. Safety, health, be protected. God bless you all.